I knew myself, although I didn't tell anybody, winning at Sebring was the beginning of the end of my career. I was 12 years of age when I first saw car racing on a street circuit in the outskirts of Dublin City. And my dad took me, we sat on this grass bank, cars went whizzing right by, and I can remember the sights, the sounds, the smells about that day as if it happened two weeks ago. It completely captured my imagination, if you like. And from then on, it, it was almost, it was a tattoo in my brain. That's what I was going to do. After my accident, if I, will, if I look at, if I quantify desire and commitment to get back, I was driven by the fact that the legacy would not be dictated by something else that happened. That alone took over. However, I will tell you, I was never the same driver after my accident as I was before. Having got hurt as badly as I did, I, I could never bring myself to go on that real ragged edge that I could in F1 or Indy cars, and I knew it, and I was okay with that. I could still go fast, and I could still win races, but I knew myself the personal satisfaction I got from running on the ragged edge, I knew was no longer there. So when I did get back to win, it was probably one of the accelerants of the beginning of the end. When I came up through the ranks, I had no model to follow. You know, I made every mistake you could make, fell into all the pitfalls, derailed my career on a regular basis, and didn't really understand why. When I moved out of being a racing driver and then went into research and television broadcasting, I asked the question, why were some drivers successful and some weren't? I realized what a wonderful education I received by all the pitfalls that I can package and hopefully just help the next generation. And if I can just deliver some of that information, some of that education that they could potentially follow to allow them to achieve the success that's possible for them individually, I do get a certain element of satisfaction out of that, of helping the next generation in this sport. And every single lap that you drive in a racing car, this changes because you learn another little bit about technical. You learn another little bit about communication. You can't hide anything in racing. And when you turn that weakness into a strength, added to your natural strengths, you begin to build a powerhouse. The only reason I put this together is to try and create a situation where each one of you can become the very best you can be. I am a great believer that the true, rare talent always gets the opportunity.